Yeah, the leukemia stem cell model offers a great amount of insight into AML. The idea that there are a subset of cells that drive the, the disease and that need to be eradicated for cure. Now, the properties of leukemia stem cells have been under investigation for the last two decades. And we found different surface markers, different properties of the cells related to their metabolism, um, and other features of the cells, including their potential cell cycle quiescence that may dictate their response to different therapies. I would say that uh, all of the approaches that in those three domains in particular, cell surface targeting, metabolism targeting, um, and cell cycle targeting, that they have moved forward in various clinical trials, but it's yet to be seen whether or not targeting those specific uh, stem cell populations leads to real um, AML cures. Ultimately, the stem cell model as a concept really helps us think about AML, but it still remains to be seen in humans whether that really drives the basis of disease. You know, leukemia stem cells may be very difficult to eradicate. Um, for multiple different reasons. First of all, from patient to patient, they can be quite different in their properties, their abundance, uh, and their relative chemo sensitivities and resistance. They seem to have lower measures of um, cell cycle activation, lower measures of reactive oxygen species, the things that make cells susceptible to conventional therapies. So I do think though that immunotherapy has the real potential to specifically target the leukemia stem cells in a way that we have yet to really see clinically.